Mariners hosting the Dodgers, and the Dodgers are minus 136 on the money line. The Mariners are plus 116 over under eight runs. Dodgers laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 116, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by a minimum of two. And the Mariners getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 140, meaning if you bet them that way, and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. Thank you, everyone who continues to join the Discord. I really do appreciate you guys. If you have not done so yet, please go to my website, rawsportstalk.com. Click on the Memberships tab. The Discord is in a paid membership. When you join, you'll get an email with the link to the Discord. All of the sports are labeled by channel. You'll see the best bets for the daily sports and correlates whatever sport they're in. And for the weekly sports, you'll see them in there. Now, neither one of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team last year or this year, and the Dodgers announced last week that Kershaw was going to start, and then the next day they yanked him, and he didn't pitch. Now, I want to say that that's why this line is as low as what it is, because they're kind of trying to bait people into taking the Dodgers on the off chance that the Dodgers will 86 him out of the game so that they don't completely lose value in this game, and then turn around and make the Mariners the favorite if they throw someone else. Now... The Dodgers are 4-1 and one in Kershaw's last five starts. He's got an ERA of 1.4. He's averaging four and a third innings pitched in 3.6 strikeouts. 79 and 84 pitches in his last two starts. He's averaging 66.8 pitches in his last five. They're saving him for the playoffs. So if he does go in this game, you're not going to get him very long. He has pitched against the Mariners in the past. The Dodgers are 3-0 and in those games, averaging seven innings pitched, four hits, 1.7 earned runs, 10 strikeouts, 1.3 walks, and 99.7 pitches. And I can guarantee you he's not going to go anywhere near 100 pitches. You'll probably be lucky if you see 65 or 70 out of him in this game. And that's provided that he actually does pitch in this game. Now, Miller, they are 3-2 and two in his last five starts. He's got an ERA of 2.4, averaging five innings pitched and 4.4 strikeouts per game in those games. The over is hit in his last four, and the over is 4-1 and one in his last five. And he didn't pitch against the Dodgers. And for Kershaw, I forgot to do it. Uh, the over is hit in his last two, and the over over the over under is two two and one in his last five. Head to head, the home team is seven and three. The Dodgers are on a four game winning streak. The Dodgers are eight and two against the Mariners in their last ten. The favorites on a four game winning streak. The favorite is seven and three on the money line. The favorite laying a run and a half on the run line is six and four. There have been three one run games in their last ten meetings. The over is five four and one, and the over eight is five four and one. The game they played today landed on eight. The Dodgers won. Forgive me. The game they played today, the Dodgers won 6-3, so that hit 9. The game before that hit 8, exactly. The Dodgers are 2-2 two two in their last four. The over is 8-1-1 one one in those games. For the Mariners, they are 2-2 two two in their last four as well, 4-6 and six in their last 10, and the over is 7-2-1. I don't imagine that Kershaw, if he does pitch, is going to go very deep in this game. So if you wanted to bet him, you'd probably be better off betting the first five. But I do think the Dodgers win this game because the Dodgers are just a stronger team all around. I understand that the Mariners are fighting for a playoff spot, but I think we can agree that the Dodgers do have a stronger team. I'm going to take the Dodgers with the money line. I'm going to take the Dodgers laying the runs. I will go over. I think that it's going to be a little bit low. That over-under is a little low, and the wind is actually blowing in at 5.8 miles per hour, so we'll see. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.